This is probably going to be the most down-to-earth video that you would have seen on my channel so far. I'm just going to be as real as I can with you and just speak to the camera. I'm going to cover quite a lot of things in this video and it's going to be interesting for people that want to start their own YouTube channel, whether they want to just see what I've been doing behind the scenes, or just a cool insight of what it's really like. So, on the 25th of January 2021, I posted my first ever video. How to double your money from just 18 years old. Oh my days. You don't understand how much I hate this video. I'd like to say I've come a long way i've changed on camera my editing's got a little bit better the angle of which i set the camera up is better oh my god it was literally like this <laughs> and a lot of people don't actually know this but i was terrified to record that video youtube had been something i was so looking forward to starting but so nervous to start at the same time you might not see it from a viewer's point of view but at the first point of contact when you put yourself on social media you expose yourself to so many people at once especially when you promote it as well because your family sees it your friends see it and you've got so many things running through your head so it was quite a big moment for me and although that day was one of the hardest days for me over the past year it was one of the best because if i didn't post that video on that day i would have delayed it even further and i might not have even done it to start off with despite how much i dislike the video and how bad it is in so many ways and how critical i am it's definitely the most important video i've ever posted from a personal point of view because after posting that i've learned so much you really do have to throw yourself in the deep end if you are looking to start your own channel or do anything in life really oh sorry mike's in the way i'd also like to take this opportunity to say thank you to everybody that supported me after posting the first video a lot of people that i spoke to during sick form that i still speak to now message me privately and you don't understand how much it meant like when i say i was bricking it it takes it to a new meaning and having just even a few of those messages come through just oh my god it was amazing the current video you're watching at the moment is the 29th video which i've posted which isn't a youtube short and i know there's been big gaps in between posting of videos especially recently trust me i am more than aware of my upload schedule my video quality everything which goes into the channel because no one else does it but here's one of the main points which i really want to talk about i think the biggest benefit of starting youtube is learning about time management prime example right so i started in january of 2021 which is when the lockdown was happening the second lockdown in the uk and i think in my third week i posted three videos in one week three videos my daily schedule throughout january and february was literally work record edit sleep same again because nothing was open i was editing on my laptop oh my god god i'm getting flashbacks now yes yeah, so i used to edit on my laptop i now edit on my iPad, which I've invested in, and I do class it as an investment for YouTube. And those three videos which I posted in that week, I stayed up till at least two, three o'clock in the morning, each one making thumbnails and editing all of them. Because I could. I mean, no one was doing anything, nothing was open, and it was snowing, I believe, at the time. Yeah, she's got bonda. So yeah. That's all I knew to do, and that was all I did. And it's crazy, you can see the actual progression within the first five or six videos, just in simple editing techniques like cutting it at the right time. It's so important. There's so many skills I've managed to develop over the course of the year, which you don't realise until you look back and compare it from when you initially started. Editing skills, confidence, just showing yourself on camera, speaking to people openly, managing social media platforms, just making recording videos, and just time time management is 100% the biggest one. April 12th, 2021 is when gyms and pubs, outdoor pubs, rule of six, come into place again. And that was a little bit of a turn in the tied in terms of how much i was posting and how much time i could allocate to youtube and i know people say if you really want something you make sacrifices you put all of the work into it and it's true but at the same time like it's a completely different scenario when, we're, when we've been in a lockdown although i was posting in january and february like that was one of my lowest mental points i've ever been in it was proper rough and I'm pretty sure I can say the same for quite a few people as well. Like, I'm very grateful for the friends which I've got around me at the moment because if I didn't have them, well, it could it would have been a lot worse. See, that's another point. YouTube was literally what kept me going through those nights. Just every night, that's what I was doing. And when stuff started to open again, you can then put your mind on that and focus on different things. But yeah, YouTube was the main factor. On the subject of time, it's made me really appreciate it it's quite hard to explain but just with friends and family like if i'm with them in that moment i don't 
want to be distracted with anything else, especially to do with YouTube. By all means, I'm not saying I make a timetable for what I do in each part of the day, but like, if I know I'm in a good moment and you, you have to live in the moment, I'm not going to ruin it by going on my phone or just being distracted elsewhere, if you understand what I mean. I feel like some of the points I'm saying at the moment has definitely been exaggerated through the pandemic because I think a lot of people have really like took a step back and appreciated each other. But yeah, starting YouTube as well, it's made a big difference in my personal life. Initially, I was quite scared of what people would think of me, but anyone would be like... I think I wasn't, like I wasn't scared of what people would think of me because if I was, I wouldn't have posted any videos and I wouldn't continue to post videos in the, like, at the moment. But for the first video, there's always going to be that element of fear. And to anyone who does want to start their YouTube channel or does want to do something which may be to do with social media or putting yourself out there in front of other people, just do it. Because it seems like such a big mental hurdle, but it's so rewarding once you've done it and the other main thing of why you need to do these kind of things is because you don't want to have any regret when you get older and this was a huge region which is why i started i've always had intentions of starting my own youtube channel as i've had inspiration from plenty of people when growing up and i didn't necessarily want to post financial content when i thought about it i've always grown up watching youtubers for like entertainment purposes like ksi the sidemen and loads of other people like that but when the market <coughs> crash happened in 2020 and covid really did strike it provided a massive financial opportunity and for march of 2020 for a solid 10 or 11 months i was watching financial content graham stefan meet kevin andre jick bia Heza, nate o'brien these youtubers really inspired me to get into the financial sector and start posting my own content i mean it only makes sense because i've always had like a business mind and considering i just learned so much about managing finance i thought well let's combine the dream of starting youtube and financial knowledge which is still for entertainment purposes only and combine it to make financial content and the thing is for me the first year was never really going to be about how many subscribers i could get or how many numbers i could hit i've learned so much over the first year and it's really what i wanted from it when i started i just didn't think it would turn out like this or i didn't think i would know what i know now but like i said if you don't start you'll never find out and although at the time of recording this i'm only on what 183 subscribers it was never about the numbers it was doing something which i always dreamt of doing and the thing is like as long as you're happy what is anyone going to say to you i'm quite open with how i speak about it online and in person like it is what it is now if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out for whatever reason but i'll be more than happy to move Move on to something else and well that's it by all means i'm not giving up on the channel in conclusion thank you for watching this video i appreciate everybody that has shown support so far whether that's commenting on the videos whether that's messaging me privately literally anything even the people that don't do this on social media that show me support in real life thank you for that as well you know who you are actually does mean so much to me and yeah god this is weird wholesome wholesome george anyway i'm excited to see what the future brings and that was my first year i will try my best to stay on top of it as much as i can but i hope you can understand if you're not going to get a weekly upload there is so much time and effort that goes into it and trying to balance it with your personal life is a little bit tricky and this is the final time i'm going to say this excuse because i'm sick of making them as always if you did enjoy this video smash that like button so it turns to the color of this jumper and subscribe if you are new around here i don't think that's ever gonna get old but anyway stay safe and i'll see you in the next one